fucking things. My brain is thinking of so many different thoughts at once. There's no way I could have thought of that particular detail. That was too specific for my human mind to comprehend. So I don't deserve it. That's just all it is. Um, next time, it's either going to have to be I get lucky and he doesn't land in a spot like that and I do perfect again with everything, or I learn the lesson again that I just didn't think hard enough. I'm not smart enough to do the run yet. I can't outsmart something that's smarter than me until I become better. It's, it's, it's literally just a formula. You do it, you learn. You don't learn enough, you do it again, you learn. Don't learn enough, too bad, do it again. You get unlucky, that's unfortunate. That kind of stuff happens, do it again. Have a really good run, make a mistake. You're not good enough, you should execute it better. You know, it's just, it's, you gotta, it's, it's, it's a perfect playthrough, man. You have to be perfect. Perfection isn't one mistake. It's literally nothing. You have to be fucking perfect. Um, and as, as long as everyone, the sooner everyone can realize that, like, just don't let yourself feel down. Because I'm going to not stop doing the run until I get it. It doesn't matter if it takes 1,762 tries. Yeah, I, can, I can do this for a year straight. I'll do it forever. I'll do it for fucking years if it takes that long. It won't take that long, though. Because it's only one detail, you know? Out of the majority of everything, it's one detail. And I'll finally outsmart something that has so many specifics to it eventually. Whenever that happens, we'll see. I'll be happy. Sick run, did everything else really nicely. No close calls, handled some very, very unfortunate things very well as well. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Means you get to watch more runs? Well, if we can make it past Shadows. Even myself, uh, two more Shadows tonight, unless we can't make it there more than once. Willpower and patience is admirable. Well, it's not like there isn't there isn't willpower or patience. It's just doing it. That's it. There's no there's no concepts other than just doing it. Do it. Doesn't work. Do it again. Don't get the results that you want. Then you did something wrong. You are the problem. You can't blame the game. The game didn't glitch. It's just unfortunate that you weren't able to outperform the game. So therefore, you are still in the process of getting better. Uh, name brand combo. He landed on a slightly rigid surface that didn't allow the visceral, unfortunately. But I didn't specifically have that situation ever happen in that spot on the ground, so it was something that I needed to kind of see. Get it this weekend, Teriyaki? Maybe, maybe not. As long as we can keep getting there, that's good enough. It's a good start. But yeah, I'm I'm very proud of myself. I did I've done perfect for today. I don't have to do better than that for the rest of the stream. I've already done good enough for myself. Cuz that's my best right now. There's nothing better than that that I can offer yet. Uh user fire, what's going on? Going to get it soon, man. Good luck. Thanks to no. Thanks, man. Yeah, I think we all know it will happen, but like time frame wise, it's all up to me, man. It's all up to how well I want to do and I have to want to do better than that because I thought that was my best, but it, apparently I'm in any better, you know? You know? Uh, P plays, that doesn't really matter to me, man. That's more important for the content, right? Like, if you like the content, that's why you should be here. That's not gonna... I'm, no amount of that's gonna make me more satisfied than a run, right? Uh, Kimbo, what's up? How's it going? Unlucky? Exactly, it's unlucky. It's unfortunate. Not unlucky, unfortunate. I, it's unfortunate that I didn't know that. But, um, that, like I said, I can play DS3 for, like, the rest of my life, and I'll learn, I'll learn a new thing. Maybe at the rate of one new thing per month at a certain point, but I'll still learn stuff for the rest of my life. Like, you can play that game forever. You'll never stop learning tiny things. You'll see things that don't make sense. There's no end to information when it comes to these kinds of runs because of how difficult the game is. So it's like, you're gonna have to actually like, you know, understand there's no limit. I'm probably gonna see something again in this run that I've never seen, that no one's seen, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm, I'm ready for a million of those. I expect it. It's honestly pretty, a it's, an, it's a normal thing. It's pretty average, right? Try naming the character Miyazaki and RNG. <laughs> I've tried that before, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, the last time with the double step, you were in the wall. That should have been the run. Any run could have been the run, but I just didn't do good. It was me. It was my fault, man. I'm the problem in the situation, not the game. So you can't say that, like, because that run failed, that it wasn't fair because of the way it went down, you know? The way it went down was because I didn't do something better than I could have. 
That's it. Um, just gotta practice moon presence twice as much. Gotta fucking start making like maybe I have to write down a map. Maybe I have to make a get a print of the actual layout of the map and then start not marking off spots and naming them and mentioning the statistics of like how likely it is to get a visceral there. I know that's silly, but if it comes down to it, I mean, if I can't get past it, that's what I'm gonna do. Still, gotta do whatever it takes. And uh, in my mind, that was not a highlighted spot. I thought it was pretty safe. So, I guess it kind of opens that whole idea that uh, there's probably a lot more things as well in there that are really fucked up that I'm gonna have to see as well. Maybe not next time. Maybe next time's good. Maybe on the all boss run, you know, with uh, DLC. But I would not put it past uh, that whole area to have more more hidden little details that uh, will probably teach you a lesson, right? Wouldn't be too surprising. Uh, I'm just being honest to know. I'm just, there's no point of wasting time lying and stuff like that on this. I can't blame something else. If I, I, I don't want to do the run. If I start blaming the game, it's I'm not doing this run then. Just... I'm, I'm, I'm wishing for a handout if I'm like, hey, it's the game's fault. That's unfair. That's a glitch. I'll only call out something for truthfully what it is when it happens if I truly want to get better at it. Otherwise, then you're just spending energy, wasting it, doing nothing, not improving on it. There's nothing that's going to happen if you uh, lie about it, you know. So I'm just being honest about it. I could have done something better, but I didn't know. So now that I know, I have to have that in my knowledge and not make that redundant mistake and if I make a different mistake that I don't know you move on you know like you just don't make redundant mistakes on it you make mistakes that are new and then you learn from them it broke your heart <laughs> mostly going for that bloodborne run nowadays haven't been here in a while akimbo yeah man we're doing uh all boss without dlc and then we're doing all boss plus dlc that broke your heart, Tsunami Poppy? Because, man, like, I want to get the run. If I didn't want to get the run, then sure, I'm going to overreact or whatever. Wasting time if I'm going to put energy into negativity and stuff like that. I hope that you can get over being sad, though. I mean, like, there's better things to be sad about in this life. <laughs> not a game, man. It's not real, right? It's... The task at hand is a valuable lesson, but, like, again, if it's not going to get completed for that reason... I can live with that. It's, it's me that it's up to me to change that. And I sh I don't think you should feel bad about that. At least for longer than like necessary, right? As long as there's some sort of improvement, and right there I did demonstrate there was quite a bit of careful planning. Quite a bit of things demonstrated that improved be up upon things that were issues before as well. A lot of stuff done very well there. I made uh, made up for my other mistakes at least. Good practice. The only thing that is a little unfortunate is we probably won't get good RNG on here again like that the next run, but. Oh well, I've had I've had the worst as well on that. I can handle that. No need to validate anything. Well, I'm just saying, like I did learn from a lot of the mistakes I made before. I didn't make those same mistakes, and I addressed those in my head. And I said, I don't want to make the same mistake. Let's do the proper thing instead of doing this again. And at every point where I had the opportunity to make the same mistake I made before, I didn't. So that's good. Uh, difference between Catholic priest and acne. Acne comes in your face after turn 13. Uh, that's not really that funny of a joke. So, I'm not going to laugh at that. You can see what Faraz means about positive mentality. Uh, PD, what's up, man? <laughs> he's pretty positive too, man. I'd say he's probably more positive than me. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate that he said that. That's cool. Don't tell you what to do, Tsunami Poppy. All right, you can be mad. That's fine. As long as you don't hate me. <laughs> uh, Maya, have an awesome evening. I'll see you later. Thank you very much for chilling. 
Sorry about your heartbreak. Admire the dedication. Well, the run will definitely not get done if I don't put the effort in, right? Ooh. Gascoin's trying to get shifty now. He heard about the situation. He's like, ha, we got a scrub over here. Trying to make mistakes up here in the staircase land, huh? I'm glad that actually still hit his face. That's good. That was actually a really fast run, too. That was a huge improvement in time. Decently long ROM and shadows, and some other splits as well, and I still save time. What's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. Tsunami Poppy with the sub hype. Oh, damn. Uh, Tsunami Poppy, thank you, dude. For the first time in your feeble, cursed life, my good friend, you have discovered the secret circle of the Squilluminati. Using the power of dank memes, six streams, and edginess, I grant you your emotes in your hood of edge, sir. I make you sad, but you subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. If hopefully that makes you feel better and doesn't make you so sad, everyone give Tsunami Poppy some sub hype, please. Get some excitement. Yeah, if you guys don't follow Philosophy, also he I don't know if he has a streaming schedule that's set right now, but I saw him streaming out last two, recently, and he's one of my favorite people. You have to check him out if you don't. He kind of popped in in the midst of all the, the controversy, but uh, definitely do not overlook following him. He is pretty awesome. Pretty inspirational. Actually, the funny thing is this game is the w reason that uh, he's probably here right now, because that's how I knew who he was. Someone else that was playing this that I was watching invited both of us to co-op, and it was pretty cool. Uh, Owl, thank you for the three months, man your bronze hood of edge continue to enjoy your emotes everyone give owl some sub hype i would make owl noises but i i'm not that good at making owl noises unfortunately i wish i could though they're pretty cool birds but yeah i can't make owl noises yeah i, I miss your bloodborne lore streams he also he used to do streams about uh, blood uh, bloodborne lore and ds1 lore and they were really really good like if you took Vadi and made him stream, that's it. Maybe even better. I don't know. Dare I even say better? Oh man. But yeah, hopefully life has been going good and everything, man. It's actually kind of crazy seeing you stream. I was like, wait, am I? Do my eyes deceive me? Is that philosophy on the Twitch? No way. This could this be real? This has to be fake. This simply is not happening. Now that Souls games are over, been meaning to do a run of them all. Nice. That's that sounds like a plan to me. I condone this uh, this idea. Uh, create daily. What's going on, by the way? How's it going, dude? If anyone popped in during that last run, I'm sorry if I didn't get to say hi to you. I was kind of focusing, but welcome. Uh, user fire, they're done for now, yeah. Uh, DS3 was the last one that they made. Um, and I think in, in quotations, Miyazaki said, he, uh, doesn't deny the possibility of more Souls games in the future if other people want to do them, but he will not direct one again, so. Uh, cause he's, he's working on uh, some more original stuff, apparently. They're making some fresh stuff. I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, Athos, what's up, man? 
back. The lost be drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Goda with the sub hype. You gotta let me know, dude, if it's uh if it's Gata or or, or Gota. Because I'm not I'm not sure, man. I've been calling you both and I don't think you corrected me. Um So I'll thank you for the sub, but like you gotta you tell me if I'm saying it wrong or anything, because I don't wanna Make a mistake. That's a tricky one. I'm not sure. Uh, go to TVI. The first time in your feeble cursed life, you have discovered the secret circle of the Skulluminati. Using the power of dank memes, six streams, and edginess, I grant you your remotes and your hood of edge as well. Got a TVI. That's what it is. Okay, my bad, dude. Damn, I was kind of wrong on that one. I was almost dead set on go to TVI. Because there wasn't two T's in it, so I was like, damn, maybe it's just like two separate words, like got A. Got A T V I. Got A. Got. I'm gonna call you uh, T V I if that's cool. For short. Whoa, that's sketchy. Broke now and heartbroken. Ruined your life, but it's okay. You will resub after one month, Tsunami. <laughs> you don't have to do that, man. You can... You can do whatever you want. I don't want to make you broke and broken on the inside. That's terrible. That's like the worst combination ever. Thank you for still being here after the, the heartbreak, at least. I can understand some people need to decompress, but... We got more runs to be had, man. We gotta we gotta be judged by shadows again at least twice. Or I will not be satisfied. And this time, I think I'm gonna take a break if we do beat shadows because uh, yesterday we had a really silly mistake on the last run that had potential for another any percent, and I just goofed up pretty big, so I don't wanna make small mistakes like that. I wanna secure another any percent if possible. If we beat shadows, I want another any percent. That's that's the goal. Uh, Leon, yeah, man, we've had some good runs today. Better than yesterday already. And we got the 180%, so that's... This is the third run of the day so far. Two runs, one, two... Uh, what was it? Oh, no. Wait, let's see if I can pull this off. That wasn't even the right order of pellet and fire paper. <clears throat> yeah, they've been good, dude. They've been very good. Uh, one to a spot that I don't remember. I actually don't remember the one reset. Oh, it was, it was uh, Parl. Sorry, before Parl. And then the other one was uh, the end of the run. So, very, very good consistency. Minimal resets. Technically, this is the third quote-unquote because we didn't make it up the ladder on the other reset we had. But I think in reality it would be like the fourth... Maybe. Because we didn't make it up the ladder, I don't really consider a run counted as an attempt until at least the ladder. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, nothing too bad yet, man. We haven't had a bad day on runs for a while. It's I bet I bet it's bound to happen. I feel it's coming up like this. It's, it's so hard to imagine though, because I, like I said, I've seen so many unfortunate things. I've had I've had to see so many stupid things happen that I feel like I'm like extra attentive to those details now to like have backup plans for them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Try playing Dark Souls 3, but you died on Gundyr 20 plus times the first boss. You quit and you went back to playing Lego. These games are not for me. 20 plus times on Gundyr, I wouldn't say is the most anyone's ever failed. Um, and I bet that person that failed more than 20 times still continued, man. So I wouldn't I wouldn't dismiss it just because of that. Uh, coffee with the sub hype. You gotta, you gotta remind me, dude, I know you've been around for a little bit. Did you sub at any point before? Just for like a month, maybe? Honestly, at, at this point in time, I don't know. It could have been either yes or no, and I, I, I'm not sure. I have to ask if that's a resub or not. But, uh, welcome back, dude. Everyone give coffee the sub hype, regardless. But yeah, man, dying 20 times on Gundy, there's someone that probably died 50 times. They still beat the game, though. I mean, they persevered. It's it's up to you if you want to continue. Like, obviously, if you're not having fun, if there's no reward out of finally getting past that first uh, obstacle, which would be something you haven't done yet, then dismissing it would be uh, good. But if you don't get past it, I feel like you're kind of... You're, di you're dismissing it too early, if that makes sense. Um, sub for a few months, but then you move, so no internet, just got back, alright. For the not-so-first time in your feeble cursed life, you have rediscovered the powers of the interwebs in the secret circle of Esquiluminati at the same time, creating this unifying feeling of greatness. Joy your remotes in your hood of edge once again, sir. Thank you for the, the resub, dude. Tsunami, you're a little bitch. Yeah, well, if, if you didn't enjoy yourself, again, like, that's fine, it's not for everybody. While there's different games, right? I can understand that. Spent two weeks and got about 80% of the trophies. And what were these trophies for? I kind of lost the topic for your, the side. There's so many side conversations. Uh, Nova Logic, what's going on? It took you over two hours to kill Asylum Demon in DS1. Was that after you got your weapon, or was that with the Broken Sword? Like, some people somehow managed to do it with the Broken Sword, and that's that's insane as it is right there. Uh, a little bit late to the stream today, because you didn't get any notification. Alright, well, to answer that, I would suggest... I don't know if you have a Twitter, but if you did, following the Twitter would give you a notification that is always in the same time. Um, like, when when it's sent, you will get it at that exact moment. You won't have to wait, like, hours or have alerts that just don't even show up, right? So if you have one, I'd rec recommend following it. And if, if you follow a lot of streams and a lot of them have, like, established schedules and they use Twitter, um, like, they, they, like, stream a certain amount of days a week at least, then uh, at least consider making one to follow all the people that you watch just to have better response time on that. That's what I would say. You had a friend quit after trying to beat the Crystal Lizard in the cemetery. I think the Crystal Lizard honestly is harder than Gundyr, but that's just me though. No joke. might make one just to follow because notifications are pissing you off yeah some people do that and like i said if you watch other channels there's a guarantee that some of them have twitter and that's what they use because the the notifications for following on this have been broken forever they've never actually worked properly 
Sometimes they might, but it's very unlikely they'll work consistently, and that's... Like, you're gonna probably assume sometimes someone didn't even stream that day, but they did. If that's what you're basing it off of, at least. I don't know. <clears throat> can any other weapon do stun locks? Every single weapon in the game can stun lock, yeah. It's all dependent on damage, though. Uh, and I think... The, uh, type of attack as well. I know serrated weapons do more damage against beasts, so it could be that... I have an easier time with a serrated type weapon. Um, but yeah. Damage is definitely a factor. Should be able to stun lock with anything though. I would actually even imagine your fist could stun lock, but it might take a million punches. Uh, your friend is getting your PS4 back to you finally so you can play Bloodborne again. You let your friend borrow your PS4. You're looking to get robbed, dude? With this game on the loose, you think that people would actually allow themselves to be respectful and give it back? You, you know, you could have gotten a gotten a robbery on your hands, man. Be careful, dude. Could have could have like caught the dude inside like a a cubby wrapped around the console, like with plugs going into his body, you know, taking the energy from it and stuff. You know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, don't know where to go next in this. Where have you made it to? I can't make any promises, but maybe in the midst of this playthrough, you'll find out where to go. Maybe, just maybe. And I skipped the six-tier cold blood again. That's all right, though. It's going to take a while to get used to that. Ain't nobody got no time for discs. Actually, I wanted to get this on disc at some point. Because uh, the problem is, uh, if you don't have a way to validate the licensing for it on the digital copy, there's sometimes where you can't even play it. So in case of those days or whatever, or just those situations, I wanted to have the actual disc as well. It's only screwed me like once before, I think. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. What face? Fig with the three month resubscription. Thank you very much, man. Enjoy your bronze hood. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you for being edgy for that long. I don't know what the what face is for with the waving, but you can explain if you want to. If not, then I'll just sit here in suspense and never know and ponder the thoughts of why you would do that. Let's give some, some sub hype for figs. The fig jam bananas. Remember, um, you came for a raid with us one time and someone tried to read your name in their chat and they couldn't even say your name properly? And the way that they pronounced it was so fucking funny, I wish I had a clip right now. And I would just, I would torture you by calling you, saying your name the exact way they said it. But, uh, they, for the life of them, they could not pronounce it. And it was funny. Soundtrack's awesome. On this? Yeah, soundtrack's very good on this. This is not a good spot to be in. You're, you're really used to it? I think it's because of the capital letters too, man. I think it has to do with that. Never bothered ordering the art book? Dude, the art book is uh, apparently really nice. I have the regular book, but I would not mind the art book. What is this emoji? That's the character that I had on my uh, DS3 no hit runs for a while. <laughs> it actually was the character that was the run, the last reset before the actual run that I got with all the DLC. And I was pretty upset because I wanted to be that character with the face. But I used it for many good runs, so. Yeah, don't question the peach, man. Uh, Gustavo, run killers on this. Uh, 
most commonly in terms of like a good run, it would be Shadows. Uh, Shadows, Gearman, and Moon Presence are the three hardest in my opinion. They they are top, top killers. Shadows still at this point, even how, with how consistent we've been, are uh, the worst in my opinion for actually getting runs going. Ooh, that parry was fine, but it was so far away I probably wouldn't have reacted to it. This guy's being tricky. Why is he backstepping? What the hell is that? I've never seen that before. The hell is this guy to do? He's got a new moveset upgrade. Someone put a USB stick in his ass. Now he's got all these fucking movesets. What a cool kid, man. He's got the update. He's got the firmware 1.69. Bloodborne 2.5 attack. And ruin run, rip run movesets. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Board got to head out. Good night, everyone. I got faith in me. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Thank you for being here, also. I didn't even know you were here today. Good luck on your uh, ONS Sastus SL1 as well. And if you guys don't know Mr. Board Gaming, we gave him a host recently. He's trying to beat ONS with a Sastus SL1. That's that's like enough said right there. That's just... what What is that? What is that supposed to be? Just laugh so hard you swallowed your gum. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's gonna take ten years to digest. Maybe it'll maybe it'll come out the same color. Anybody else ever swallowed gum? Remember I swallowed gum on purpose when I was a kid because I thought it was gonna be funny and then apparently it's really hard to digest. And I got scared. <laughs> but yeah. Smash those dudes? Alright, sounds good. I'm looking forward to seeing the clip of that. It looks pretty difficult. Like, I'm telling you, if I went and played DS1, I don't think I could do that right now. Swallowed gum on purpose as well, Salamander. Alright, so you're with me, man. You're in that, uh, you're in that sub-50 IQ club. It's like, yeah, I swallow gum on purpose. I'm pretty fucking smart. Yeah, man. One time, I remember, I didn't believe that adult teeth don't grow back. So I smashed my teeth in after I lost my baby teeth. And there was nothing that happened. And I got scared, so. I went to the dentist and he told me to only have two sets of teeth. And I was like, oh, no. And I asked for a reset. But apparently you can't reset run on teeth. Ah, uh, Lore Master, welcome back. What's up, dude? You did that too? <laughs> oh man. Alright. We're not oh yeah, we're selling the bone. Wonder if the hunter bone in this run really would help anything at this point. I'm trying to think of things that I could use it for, because the extra levels for arcane would be there. I just can't understand what it would be worth and how I'd use it and stuff like that. Falcon House, you never swallowed gum, but you did eat a chocolate bar, including the foil wrapper when you were a kid. Oh no, must have been bad. Uh, translating the Japanese characters in debug mode of Dark Souls. Hopefully it'll help people out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you think their names are different? Like, are you trying to say that you're translating them to see if the names come out different than what they're already translated as? Or written as in this version? send you a link so you can see the beautiful character. Uh, this is a BRB video that the Peach is in. I could play it, but only if we beat Shadows will I play it. I'll put it on if I go for a break, and then you'll see it. Smoked dog shit once for a dare. You also cut out and ate a live fish heart while fishing. What? <laughs> okay. Guys, better watch out, man. You better you might get your hearts cut out and eaten in front of you as you're laying there and dying in your last breath. Coffee cutting your heart out and eating it. Too savage. 
Uh, Slifer, it's to save time, dude. It's really fast to do it that way. So many people with the debug mode have no idea what they're doing. Mm. I've seen some cool things, like people do cut content videos that are interesting for people that don't have access to that. Or don't want to try to debug the game, right? Like Crestfallen and... Uh, um, what's the other guy's name? Uh, the sand guy or whatever his name is. Fuck, what's his name? I'm trying to remember, but there's two people that do cut content. They're very good with the whole debug thing, showing items and stuff. But I guess if you're not making content out of it, you probably wouldn't be doing anything super useful. Soldier? No, it's like Sand SK or something like that. Or, or it's not pronounced that way. It's pronounced differently than that. It's something like that. He did. He just recently did a cut content video for this. Yeah, Crestfallen did some really good DS1 videos. Pennywise, hoy. Ahoy. So drunk one time you ate half a kebab with the wrapper on before your girlfriend slapped it out of your hands and called you a disgrace to humanity. <laughs> Spurbinator, welcome back, man. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, all that happens is your body absorbs the sugars and dies. The gum comes out like everything else. I see. Well, I was thinking the color might change because of the dyes and the artificial stuff in it, right? Several Demon Souls mechanics still in the Dark Souls code base, like world and character tendency. Really? I did not know this. Uh, skirt steak, what's going on? First time here, Kappa? Yeah, right. Nice try, man. Oh, it's one of those shadows, I see. I see. Wonderful.
That was fucking weird, GG. <laughs> that was really, really weird. Set a mind your birthday wishes for another 2K plus. 2K plus or what? I want a tax or hell of strong doublos. Yeah, man. So the world might be mended. Gubblos with the Prime subscription. Thank you very much for the brand new Prime sub, Gubblos. The first time in your feeble, cursed life. You have discovered the secret circle of the Squilubinati. And using the power of dank memes, extremes, and edginess, I grant you your remotes. And your hood of edge, sir. Thank you. Very much, Gublos. Um... So I said I was going to take a little bit of a break before we come back and do ROM and all that stuff. So I'll do that right now. I'll put on the meme video so you guys can see the uh, peach. Because Tsunami Poppy wanted to see the peach, I promised. Uh, everyone give Gublos the sub hype in the meantime. Anyone that popped in during that, welcome. Sorry if I didn't say hi to you. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, also, again, if you're enjoying the stream and you don't follow on Twitter, but you have one, do it up. Because... Schedule stuff, you know, you'll get the notifications when we're live uh, a little bit faster Then there's no need to complain about that if you have one and you don't give a shit about that Then you can just call me an idiot. You can tag me and I'll come back and I'll read all the hatred um, But I'll see you guys in a few Oh shit Miyazaki button Miyazaki button there's no way to escape it Mia fucking Zai. This guy's inside the building. This guy's inside the building. He fucking cheated, dude. Boy. Oh my god, did I just do that? Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's the best reset I've ever done in my life. Avocado! One... Ah, uh, ah... Uh, huh. Huh. Ho. Ho. How. Hower. Ah. Uh, ow. Hour. One. W one out. Uh, one hour. One. Oh no, did I just act- What? What? Well, we're gonna verify the integrity of the game catch now. <sighs> oh shit. Whoa! Awesome Bill, Urban Gordon, Earnhardt Smith, Johnson Jr. I got my first real stock car when I was nine. And oh, and mama bought off a Jim Bodine. The Winston Cup people said the boy's too young. This is definitely going to be a skip. I'm feeling a skip right now. First speedrun breakthrough world record coming up. Okay, we were back. That was the, uh, that was the peach. Tsunami, are you happy? Are you entertained? One Todd Howard. The Ron is alive as well. Yes, he's alive. He's... Alright, welcome back. Let's go. Let's do it. And yes, the doll is still dead. In the meantime, she did not learn how to live. She did not revive herself. She did not survive. She is dead. I killed her. That's it. End of story. 
Joy-Con boys? What the hell is Joy-Con boys? <laughs> I'm a big fan. Notice me, please. OMG, please, okay. <laughs> Lord of Reapers, what's up? How's it going? Genetics, welcome back. Hello. All right, we got to try to get 90% now. Let's do it. No mistakes. Focus. I'm still so tired. My God. All right, well... At least I got water. We're good. Side boob, what's up? How's it going? Why is it over already? I said three minutes. That was like, what, two and a half, three minutes? What do you expect, huh? You want like high budget breaks? Are you funding these dibs? Are you funding five minute breaks? You think I can afford to take a five minute break, dude? Uh, Nightwing, what was that video called? It's uh, it's my BRB video. It's not called anything. <laughs> it's just a video for my uh, for my BRBs. I'm gonna be making another one soon, but uh, gotta get some good clips. I want some recent stuff that's happened on this run. We could make a, we could probably uh, we like if we had a video that just had stuff from this run, we could probably make like a. Two or three minute compilation of just resets on Moon Presence soon enough. If I get a couple more of those, guaranteed we could just make a thing of Moon Presence. That's it. Checked recommended levels for DS2 and Bloodborne. Accidentally, you're 40 levels over what you should be. To be fair, man, I wouldn't necessarily follow the instructions of someone recommending levels just because. What's their criteria to tell you that you should be a certain level for whatever, you know? I think it's more dependent on weapon level and uh, gems. That's unacceptable, Nightwing. Okay, fair enough, man. I done goofed, it's all my fault. Rip run, rip, uh, rip life. Rip your life, too. Sable, what's up? This is the run 100%, it's the first one. Alright, hopefully. We'll see. Jake from State Farm Actual, welcome back. How are you? You're unsubbing for this, okay. Fair enough, man. I know it seems really hard to believe, but I might live. I might possibly survive with a threat of my health. I might have to hold on to an object to keep myself up because of the impact, but I think I might live. Just possibly. Okay, I think in this situation, there might have been a left wall. I'm gonna check for that first. Alright, she's in the middle. Hold on to Stay's milk bag? Okay, I, I, I'm sure you would love to hold Stay Plus's milk bag. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome back. What's up, dude? Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Popcorn smug? That actually does look like popcorn, you're right. What's up with these speedrun ROMs? I don't know. We actually had some pretty good RNG on that one. I almost went for an attack on uh, one of them, but there was another one that turned towards me, and I'm like, he's gonna jump. Either dive bomb or... Uh, the regular single or double jump, whatever the case, and did. But other than that, though, that was pretty safe. Uh, we got good RNG on it.
Got a TVI. You have that emote too? What emote is that supposed to be? So many people have this. OS Blob. It's global. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot. It's not even like a sub emote. Why do you punch her in the face with your fists? Uh, Orwin because... Sorry, Ornwin. Uh, builds the beast meter. So if I build the beast meter, I do more damage. That is why, sir. Gonna dedicate hundreds of hours of your time to become an affiliate so you can create a milk bag emote. Uh, side boob, to be honest, dude, if you stream just for like a month straight and you have somewhat consistency, you probably will become an affiliate regardless. Pretty sure every single person is gonna be an affiliate of some sort at some point. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if there's partner affiliates with two sub buttons. Like, they might do that, you know. <laughs> gonna give Dark Souls 3 another try. You want to follow a build, though? Any recommendations? If you want to have something that's really easy to start with to kill Gundir, uh, I recommend using Deprived or using uh, Mercenary, actually. With Deprived, you can use the club and stun lock him, and you can use the, uh, the weapon art, the L2 on it to do more damage. Self-buffing kind of thing. So uh, I would I would recommend uh, one of those. Either or. <clears throat> uh, Bolt struck. Welcome back. What's up, dude? So I get to the final boss without getting hit last night. What happened? Uh, I got to German last night without getting hit. Mind blah. Uh, German, I actually don't remember, I think. I missed, oh yeah, I missed the backstab. Uh, frames too early on the backstab, then I didn't dodge the bullets in a strictly, uh, horizontal direction. I was diagonal slightly and I got caught. Not that it would have been a good time anyways, I might have not even timed the dodge, but... Um, yeah, got hit on bullets on German. A random assassin, you love this game? That's good. This game loves you as well. Sometimes. It probably loves you more than me, because have you seen this game do to you what it did to me? I think that rests my case. Wait, Anthony, are you leaving? Are you taking off? Thank you for the answer, no worries. You don't have to thank me for giving you an answer. If you ask a question, I'm going to answer it. Need to stream often, uh, more often than once a month. Yeah, you can't pull a dibs. You can't stream SL1 and do amazing on it and have a bunch of people watch you like one time in existence. You actually have to have some sort of schedule, a little bit. At least from what I know, that's that's all I know about it. Mind blob that sucks your gun in for me. It's okay, dude. We'll do it. We'll get it done eventually. It's gonna have to happen, dude. I'm not gonna stop until it does. It's going to, even if it comes down to getting a lucky moon presence, which would just mean that it's better RNG and the spot on the hill is better. Like, it, it's gonna have to come down to that at a certain point, but um, the more mistakes I make, I'll learn, and it, inevitably there will be knowledge I can apply to it and say, hey, you know, that exact spot with that exact ridge or like this exact hill, particularly with this direction it's heading in and this slope and this flower on it it's not a good idea you know i will be able to uh you pinpoint all the ideas of where it will be bad and remember all those things the problem is right now i can't do that because i know general areas i don't know general specific spots within areas that are that bad other than one particular place and then the one that we just had right there. So if it comes down to being that specific, I will make a I'll make I'll make a map. I'll start drawing on a map. I'll start circling things, labeling them. I will do whatever it takes. If it if it comes down to that, that's what it takes. Whatever. But uh, it would be a waste of time for me to not do this run at this point with the amount of consistency. Genji, am I going for a nap run against Faraz? No, I've never fallen asleep during stream before, man. I've gotten kind of close before, but um, the funny thing is he did that earlier and then he got a really good run right after, so maybe I should start stealing his strats.
That was apparently so fast the big dude didn't even try to chase me. Okay. You did with DS, so you will do it for this. Yeah, we can we can do it, man. He came back deadly focus, best power best power nap ever. Is that what he said he was doing? He just left the stream on an intention he went for a power nap? Because people made it seem like he fell asleep randomly. Because yeah, power naps actually are very good for you. Very, very good for you. Message diluted. <laughs> oh, he used a seppuko command. What? I didn't even know we had one of those. I thought that got removed, actually. No, wait, we did. We did have that command, but I thought I got Devrog to remove it a long time ago. Where the fuck do you go after Skeleton Lords? Uh, Earthern Peak, I believe. Or, sorry, Harvest Valley and then Earthern Peak. Or you can be a cool kid and get a million echoes and go to Shrine of Winter. Wait, did I say echoes or did I say souls? Am I finally saying echoes instead of souls? Have I finally done it? This is a breakthrough. Wow. I'm proud. Falling asleep on stream, he stood up and he fainted. For five minutes on his bed, someone called him on his phone to wake him up. Really? That's pretty rough, man. Seeking is here. What's going on, Seeking? I didn't recognize you without the school meme, dude. You actually were using that at such a high frequency. I thought every message you had to type required it or you would self-destruct echoes yeah yeah jeff apparently i said echoes while referring to souls it's usually the other way around um like usually confuse souls for echoes in this but i mean this finally kind of got into my head you know pretty cool i've learned Skull Peach is your emoji now, you're gonna use it. <laughs> use it as your main emote. That's pretty cool, I think that's my favorite one, so. Spread the peach, man. And still fear into people. Self-destructing as we speak. I didn't mean you, Bolt Struck. I know you're lying, man. You're not you're not self-destructing. You're, you're full of baloney. Seeking used that one emote though so much that uh I thought that he wasn't able to type unless it was in the sentence. I'm not even exaggerating, like, he had every message with that emote in it. Uh, last, last few days he was struggling with shadows. Yeah, he was telling me he couldn't figure out how to engage the last dude, that that was his main problem, and I was saying that, like, if you let the last dude do snakes, most of the time you won't get hit if you just pay attention to, uh, how much space you have behind them. But... Either way, man, I still think the fight's more than just that. Like, even if you have, uh... Like, if his trouble's on the last dude, that's, like, the least of the problems. That's not even the hard part. That's that's way better than my issues on it. But we do have different strats, so...
probably gonna be a meme right here. I highly doubt I can hit this dude's hand. Highly doubt it. Oh, he moved back in. I got his finger. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha, you little prick. I got you. I got you. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh man. Get mean, you prick. Fucked him up right there. He took like a little tiny, tiny footstep forward and his finger was sticking out and he got screwed. That's what I would call memeing the enemy, like where you actually kind of get revenge for all the bullshit that you see in this. If it wasn't for his finger and like that tiny little shift, his position, I wouldn't have got that. I was ready to mark too, I was ready to get out of there. <clears throat> Heartbroken, you peach cheer you up. <laughs> Princess Peach. Apparently, Mind Blank is a... The character that Lobos made is a woman. I was like, holy shit. Same with the Peach one, too. It's kind of funny. Bassett, you started Bloodborne last Sunday. What are you thinking about it so far? Do you like it? Alright, let's get out of here. That's some small font philosophy. Some tiny, tiny lettering. <laughs> Good RNG, this is the run. Six thousand eight hundred and eighty seven echoes and six insight, it's the run. Princess Peach might have been uh, your first crush old school NES. Damn, dude, that 8 bit, though. <laughs> how, how was having an original NES, like, as a kid? If anyone here had that experience, like, how was that? W were you, like, super excited to play it? Was it, like, mind blowing? What was that like? Alright, we're gonna level a little bit and then we're getting out of here. I think I might have overdone it. I probably should have popped a smaller thing. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going to spend this on knives then. We're going to get some knives. Waste the 700. I got to get some more of the elixirs. It was the best thing ever, Nabby. It's great. Uh, having PS1 was mind blowing. I had an N64, so that was pretty crazy. PS1 was mind-blowing, SNES seemed like uh, the moon landing. Dude, SNES, I remember uh, knowing someone in the first grade that had one, and then I remember a family friend had one when I was super, super young, and I remember watching people play them, and I was like, holy shit, like, this is pretty insane. Like, I, don't, I, I didn't even want to try it. I was, like, too afraid to touch it. I was like, I'll probably break it or something like that, but I remember seeing it, SNES before. Um, and then I remember a family friend had a PS1, and I was like... Holy shit, like, why is this so cool? Like, what's going on here? Like, what is what is up with this? But, uh, yeah, I feel like if you got really excited for original NES, that'd be kind of weird to imagine. Super, super basic. All right. That village, let's go. Grew up on GameCube, you're such a baby. Yeah, I think that was after Nintendo 64, right? Are you the oldest person here got a TVI? I don't know. It depends. Uh, it was mind-blowing. You never wanted to leave your TV. You didn't even understand what was going on in Super Mario Bros. You remember running into turtles and making a mental note, okay, don't touch these? <laughs> you, weren't even, you weren't even trying to survive. You are just running right into them. Yeah. I was pretty bad at a bunch of games, so I understand that. I remember Mega Man. Uh, I think it was... X2? Or no, 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 it's X. Mega Man X, the original X. I couldn't beat it. I got, I remember one time, um, I got to the Storm Eagle dude, 
whatever his name was, and I remember the battery on the Game Boy died, and I was like, what the fuck, man? I almost, I almost got to the point where, like, I was in the fight, and I was ready to kill him, and then the, the battery died, and that's the furthest I ever saw in that game. I got so frustrated, I was like, I'm done. Like, nope. Back to, like, Toy Story and shit. But, uh, yeah, I was pretty bad at the challenging stuff. <laughs> Right, how many echoes are we gonna get right now? Apparently none, because they're gonna stand in the in the safe spot. All right, perfect. First gaming system was a Commodore 64. That's a computer, isn't it? Astro Marcus. Or am I thinking of something different? Mega Man X6 when you were a kid, Shaleno. Really. You can beat a Mega Man as a kid, I think that's pretty impressive. Especially the really, really old ones. Like the ones before the one I'm talking about. Apparently those are pretty bad. K-Dub no 1 and 2. Wait, is he making a 4-piece? Is it gonna happen? Are we finally getting K-Dub no four-piece? I'm gonna have one more cocktail for this part, then we're pretty much... We have to actually go back and get more right now. After the lift, I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, do we want to waste 1.8k? We have two of these left. Uh, I can make it through without getting the BSB marks yet, so I think we're going to waste the 1.8k. Uh, Owen, if you're going to sleep, dude, I'll see you later. Have yourself a good rest. Thank you very much for chilling in the stream. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Never beat Mega Man as a kid? Those fucked up your world. Yeah, it was, it was challenging, man. Like, the coordination for it and, like... The whole, the whole thing of, like, I, you know how I say, like, don't make the same mistakes? Like, I was always making the same mistake. But even on the first dude, the penguin, that would just, like, slide across the floor. I would die the same way, like, all the time. And I think I got lucky most of the time when I actually progressed. It wasn't even because I was actually improving. It was, like... And I only had so long to play, and the batteries only lasted so long. It was so fucking bad. Like, I'd be lucky if I could even make progress in a place that was new. Uh... If it took a while to get there in the same situation or the same setting because of the battery life and I only really got to play it like when I was actually out or something like that like or on a if we were in the car or whatever wait or there was like some sort of big wait for something but like it's kind of like one of those things where I only had so much time to play it like I couldn't play it at home all the time or anything there was like limitations on that shit, so I, I was like, oh, I'm getting that new new level on that Mega Man, and then like, I just get screwed. I don't even think I beat Toy Story, to be honest. Although I did like the Toy Story game a lot, that was really fun. Toy Story was legit. Mega Man X is your favorite Mega Man? Me too, man. It was, it was really good. It's actually really interesting to watch speedrun, too. But, um, funny enough, like... The SNES version is so much better, and I never actually got to see that until I noticed the people speed ran, and I'm like, wow, this looks way better than the one that I played. Thank you for sharing the fun facts, Tsunami. Thank you, man. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta get the, uh... What's it called? The cocktails. I think technically I would get five at this point, because I'd already have one and then I'd buy four, but we, we used one extra on BSB earlier. She's being really, really scary, so. We'll have to go back and do this with four. Other than that, everything's fine. Beat Mega Man one to six in a few weeks. One very boring summer. Man, you're crazy. Even when I was a bit older, I think it was on PS2, there was like the retro re-release collection of them or whatever. It was like the anniversary collection. And I couldn't beat one single one. I couldn't. I tried like all of them on the disc. I could not beat them. It was so difficult. Uh, 
Um, anyone speed run Toy Story? I don't know. That'd be really funny, man. I kind of want to look it up and just uh, see out of curiosity now that you mentioned that. But I did like the, the Game Boy Toy Story. It was good. Anyone here ever play Mystical Ninja for N64? Never heard of that. What is that about? Looney Tunes game for Game Boy Color. Cannot remember what it was called, but it was sort of a platformer. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Game Boy, even though like the topics and the themes were kind of cheesy for some of the things, like Toy Story was a good platformer. And I, I'm imagining this Looney Tunes thing is probably pretty good, too. A lot of good platformer stuff going on. Remember there was like this, uh, uh, I think it was Wario Land 3 or whatever, where you could like, you could like body check fucking walls and stuff like that and break them. And uh, that was, like I couldn't, I, again, I was so bad at it, I couldn't understand it that well, but I just loved breaking the walls. Like it was so fun to just like break all the stuff. If anyone ever played that, that was, that was sick. Pokemon TCG was great. I remember renting that before, and I couldn't understand how to play it, the, the TCG Pokemon. Yeah. That was difficult. Mystical Ninja staring Geomon? What? Prehistoric Man on N64. That's how they spelt prehistoric. Fighting all Boston Mega Man with no inherited powers, super challenging. Yeah, there's people that do challenge runs of it like that, where it's like, it's specifically aiming to use no power-ups. Alright, we're gonna cheap out on inside on this one. I have to grab this. Uh, we're cheaping out on the inside, though. We're losing three insights right there, unfortunately. I have no choice, because that dude is really, really fast right now. Something I did with... Uh, the other part, or I guess I got super unlucky, and uh, he was facing already to the side. I don't know why. But yeah, that makes that very hard. Pa uh, Parappa the Rapper on PS1. That was on PS1, really? I thought they made that when PSP came out. Parappa. They, they have an emote of that, don't they? Like, uh... Yeah, Carappa. If you have BTTV, I think you can see that. Doing Sonic the Hedgehog 3's Balloon Park in 7 seconds. <laughs> yeah, Carappa. <laughs> All right, well, we have two Hunter's Marks left. I think we just somehow avoided the entirety of having to go get the BSB Marks. We can get those as emergency if we need them later, but I don't even need them now. We skipped that whole entire thing. I might be shorter on Souls because of that, but I mean, if I implement that uh, that Tier 6 Cold Blood and I do the same thing I just did, we can make back everything we waste and then skip them every time. It'll be the same as a normal run. So that's the good news. The bad news is everyone here is going to uh, suffer a case of extreme spaghetti arm syndrome where your arms turn to soggy wet noodles and uh, you lose control of them and they start, they start moving around by themselves. Hopefully you can live with that. I'll take that trade though. So I'm safe from it, but you guys aren't. You love spaghetti. Are you gonna eat your own arms then? <laughs> Planning on eating your own, your own something. <laughs> Level ninety one in Harvest Valley. Harvest Valley was another thing that I always heard about being pretty good. Never trusted it though. I was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna play it. I don't know what it is. I always heard it was like really highly rated and stuff. Nice first run, gushers. Thanks, dude. Conquer. Oh yeah, Conquer the Squirrel. It's available on PSN. Starting with two R's. What? What's the matter? Can't read while doing one of the most difficult challenge runs in history. Starring. Sorry. Starring. My bad. Yeah, I can't... <laughs> I can't read English while doing this run. Sorry, man. 
I think you expect too much of me sometimes. Although there is that one person that I believe in all honesty, they do think it's possible to read this much chat and actually do this run well at the same time without a problem. Even with the amount of time put into it, and it's like, mm. Fun. Fun times, man. Why don't you uh, take over, you know, just for like a moment. Do it. It could be fun. Starring Gomon. Who's Gomon? Harvest Valley is the name of the arena in DS2. Oh, we're thinking of Harvest Moon. That's what we're thinking of. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking of Harvest Moon. You mentioned Harvest Valley. You're talking about souls. I'm talking about Harvest Moon. The uh, farming thing. For All right. You can fall right there in that corner and I think get that roll because the way the roof is, so... Not that it really matters, I don't think it makes it faster. But if I fall specifically straight down and I don't launch off the uh where the the ledge is right there, I think I can get that. <clears throat> I probably could get that again. Maverick, what's up? How's it going, man? Welcome back. Yeah, I don't believe we lost out on too many souls on this. So we're gonna see if we can skip those hunters marks every time. Be the best, CJ is back. What's up, CJ? For the boys? That was for the boys, bro. That was for the boys. Remember that? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so he was doing something really weird at the first tower there that made him go so fucking slow. If I could do that every time, that fight would be a piece of cake. I have no idea what it was, though. I might have been just being really, really slow at the very, very first part, but it's hard to say. I can't guarantee that's the reason. I don't know. Have you played Bloodborne, CJ? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever asked you that or I've seen you play it on your stream, but have you played it? Get her done. Oh man. PS1 game. You killed an alligator, a crocodile, and there was a boss fight. You had to box the boss. Killing an alligator and a crocodile. That's a very good question. I have no idea. Sounds pretty intense, though, man. Alligators and crocodiles, or just one or the other? Oh, wait, we gotta sell the other stuff. Let's do that. So now we'll get to see exactly how bad we did for Echoes. I play Bloodborne, one of your favorite games ever. Okay, I just don't remember if I caught you streaming it or not. It's been a while, right? Still give the nod to DS1, though. Yeah, DS1 and 3 were tied for me until the DLC 2 came out for DS3. And then I was like, this, purely because of the amount of content there is and the quality of it has to be better. Because it's like, 
I don't know, it's got so many good things and it's so challenging too, right? I think they did a really good job and then it deserves that, uh, that title now. Okay, here's the point where I'm confused of what we should do. I think I'm gonna have to come back and get the poison knife. But I still want to buy one more thing at least. So... I don't want to sell anything else though. I guess what we could do is we could buy vials. Buy one. Because I'm gonna sacrifice the rest of these echoes. I'm actually very curious to see if I could do Amygdala right now. That'd be interesting if I could. Not that it would really be necessary. It'd probably be stupid to do it now. But, but yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Insomniac, what's up? Time for you to fight Wet Nurse. Kicked your ass the first time. I wish you luck, man. I wish you luck. If you can't succeed on it, or if at first you don't succeed on it, I will try to do my best to succeed for you. We can get there. I'll try to get some revenge for you. Run like hell in shadow phase? Well, what you could do, I mean, this might not be something that's easy to understand right away, but there is a way to stop it from happening. You just gotta be very, very particular. And if I can do it right on this run, then I'll, I'll show you. You're going to live vicariously through me, all right. Feeding off the gameplay. Going to, like, hook up USB plugs to your nipples. Just give me power. Um, yeah. Did an offline run and got three hits. Not bad. GG Quiddy. David Tanker and Quiddy are tied. How does it feel to potentially be stealing this run from me? I bet Quiddy actually, in, in, in all honesty, I bet he got the run and he's just like, I'm not going to say anything. There's some there's some memes on uh, Moon Presence earlier. I don't want to hit a soft spot or anything like that. I'm going to play it safe and just be careful. We'll just say three for now. Three seems like a reasonable number. Seems very doable for someone of my skill level. Ha! Who am I kidding? I am the best. I am K-Dub Shrug. Ha ha. Ha ha. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. I bet. I bet he beat the run already and he recorded it while eating pizza. He was playing with one hand and uh, typing with his feet in a chat randomly. Or in this chat. He was actually in the stream watching me with one eyeball typing with both of his both sets, both the sets of toes on his feet. I bet. That's my guess. One to Celestial, two to German. Aw, oh, damn, dude. Um, big on Rhodes, thank you for the four months in a row, man. Continue to enjoy your emotes and your hood of edge. Hopefully you've enjoyed being here. As long as I've enjoyed stealing your life forces, even though that's not really what's going on. But thank you very much, man. How are you doing? Give Big on Rhodes some sub hype. Welcome back. Um, so when you got hit on emissaries, do you go for the backstab or do you do the, uh, the running attacks? Cause I swear that backstab is so particular that I, I don't even want to, I don't want to throw it in. There's already so many specific backstabs in this run that I'm tired of having to deal with that. This guy might make it to the door. No, he's picking up a boulder. I don't like his spot on that. You do go for the backstab? Okay. Well, it is a lot quicker, so I mean, I can understand why people would do that. I've had my method fail with speed before. But when uh, Faraz did the thing where he drags them all the way up to the top, like me combining that with what I do, there's a lot of time to miss or have them backstep or whatever. I do like the charged R2 now. That does a shit ton of damage. Like, you could probably get away with two charged R2s, 
and then just one running attack at the end. Because after the one charge dart two, he doesn't attack you. Or go into the uh, the AoE. He just he just sits there again and waits for another attack. So it always it like guarantees the perfect amount of damage instead of killing the first two guys. Spyro was fun as fuck. I wasn't really big on the uh, the PS1, right? I didn't have a PS1, so... Spyro, I got to play at game stores randomly. Video stores, but yeah. Bassett, you hate this area? Yeah, man, me too. <laughs> like, the design of it's nice, though. I kind of like the idea where you can kind of... You can see everything as you go through. Like, it's kind of like... Um, you start off at the lowest point, then you actually make it to the highest point eventually. Which is really really interesting and then the next area out of this you can also kind of see from like the beginning of when you went to that nightmare those play into uh the next part of it and then also the whole backstory of like you know completing like the mandatory stuff to beat the game as well so i, I think it's a cool area but it's not really fun to do <laughs> pretty difficult All right, we're gonna get one fire paper now. Get the gems, and then I'm buying the rest of my items. I think we need one more poison knife, that's it. Do I remember the longsword tournament? Of course, dude. The uh, Lyrical Assassin longsword tournament? Yeah, dude, remember, uh, who was it that got the 80-something kill streak on that? It was like, uh, Apkoa, I think. I think it was Apkoa or Jimmy. They, they won on like 82 kills in a row without uh, losing an arena. I think mine was like 30 something. And then, uh, remember the, I think the way that I lost when I, when I uh, submitted my results after the practice attempts, but like the actual like real run of it that we did, uh, we got reset or we got, we lost because a dude wasted the timer of the arena and made a draw happen by running away until the time elapsed and then it was a tie and then the tie counted as a loss with the rules of the tournament so like i remember i would have i would have killed him but like he just he fucked me over because i think he knew that we were doing that and he tried to stream snipe and then ruined it silliest shit ever man but <laughs> i remember i remember all that stuff that was that was some of the best times ever uh spartan Harmon, welcome back what's up man how are you? I don't need to kill the doll, I'm sorry. Oops. I didn't mean to, it wasn't my fault. I swear, it was German, it wasn't me. A T-Biz kill heart thing? Are you talking about the brain? Tie bring, hopefully your runs go smooth. They're going pretty good today, man. I can't complain. They've been pretty good. We've had two days of not losing the shadows one time, so that's... That's just unheard of. I'm waiting for that time where we lose to them, but we just having some crazy shit going on. Uh, so, Leo, that's funny because you love the gameplay for Nightmare, but you're not a big fan of level design. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's very linear, but like the way you look at this whole entire area, it's it's got a very, very strong atmosphere to it. They captured that uh, detail and atmosphere very well. Which is pretty much the case in everything in this, but if you compare it to like the way that You'd look at a uh, level design in like DS2 or something like that. It's so much better. It, it actually achieves like a like a vibe, right? Some say Renting from Blockbuster. <laughs> uh, Spartan Herman, I'm doing good. We're about to try to kill this guy. We'll see how that goes. The doll does not uh, deserve this abuse. All right, Cyber. Cyber Chestnut is uh, protesting. Chestnut is protesting and trying to stop doll abuse. Sorry. 
Would you say it would be okay if we got the run because of it, though? In that particular case, would you be okay with it? Yeah, I don't know if he's walking back or he's doing, like, uh, suicides or something like that. Are you getting an exercise on or something? I have no idea what he's doing right here. He's been weird on this part. The attempts we've had today. Like, dude, I just want a normal fight, please. Can you, can you please stop? All right, we better hope he makes left turns because, I mean, I did the jump attack there. Tried to do the charge R2 a little bit lower than 50%, but he's he seems to want to meme me on that part for every run right now. It's so fucking annoying. I have no idea why, but he just doesn't want to... Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. All right, we, we have to get some bless RNGs in chat for this. At least this is good. Oh, man. Finally, dude. I'm sorry that I was talking trash. I really appreciate it, Mikolash. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Such a good dude. Such a good guy. Wonderful. All right. Bell time, man. I'm sorry to inform you folks, but trivia will be postponed today on account of bad conditions. Uh, favorite boss chestnut in this game? Orphan of Cost from the DLC. That's my favorite. Uh, Dustin Echoes, welcome back. I also have not seen you in forever, man. You're like randomly turning out of nowhere. Uh, Bloodboard attempts I've been doing for... Are you talking about like in general or this particular run? Alright, they got us a little bit of uh, damage. We, we might still have to do trivia. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. I'm going to say we're good. I'm going to say we're okay. Orphan was amazing. Yeah, Orphan's a really good fight. Gives you PTSD when you hear it screech. I was trying to impersonate it earlier. It's like... Hoo. Hoo. <laughs> I can't do it. Blame Legion, what's up? RN Jesus, thank, thank. <laughs> Senor Fairy Dust, uh, haven't been able to catch stream while being away, hiking in the mountains. Nice, dude, what mountains are you hiking in? Greetings from Sweden. Hiking in the Swedish mountains. Uh, it's been pretty good, dude, for the past week. I'm assuming for like, basically all the time you've been gone. We've had ridiculous consistency, man. I've made it to the end of the run many times. Even today, we made it to the end of the run. So, like, it's going pretty well. It's going to happen soon. Okay, I'm going to hit him with a plunge. He's, he's at that amount of health. where we, so we can save the bullets and save the hassle a little bit. Loading RP, what's up, man? Barely barely anybody uses that emote anymore. Best Jerry Seinfeld impression? I have no idea where I'd begin with that.
<laughs> That's a pretty good combo, Donnie. I like that. That's good. Turned off all sound except music for Orphan. I can't really re remember Orphan's soundtrack off the top of my head, dude. I don't... I'm sure it's pretty good, but there's certain fights where the soundtrack just doesn't play in my head automatically. Like, I don't know. There's ones that stick out. I think they're all really good, but... That one I can't remember. I don't know. Okay, we'll do all this stuff first, and then we'll we'll go back. Ink, what's going on? Haven't been back for a long time. Did anybody miss me? I actually did this time, yeah. I did quite a bit. Where have you been, young man? I've been worried sick. No phone calls. What's he doing the overhead? No emails. You're off gallivanting, doing whatever. Maybe you could call next time. Tell me what's up or something. God damn it. Uh, Carl Papa's next. Carl Papa. I think Carl's a Papa. Missed the one hit run clutch. We've had many one hit runs, dude. I think we've had three no hit run, three one hit runs at this point. In a, in a big, bagillion, jillion any percents. Remember that time I said three any percents would be nice to get the run? Like, if I got three any percents on the third time, at least by then I want to have the run. Psst. That's not going to happen anymore. At least we learned quite a bit of stuff in between that time and now. You're off work, Bassett? Really? Were you watching the stream from work? Appreciate that you were uh, you're tuning in while in the workplace. MLG plunge. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good spot. I thought that wouldn't work that well. It's kind of weird. I noticed that most people that do that stand further back and take a step forward, whereas I'm, I'm rolling on the spot with mine. I probably end up rolling from the same spot, but, like, they particularly... Like, they're not as careful with it. Like, Faraz as he steps forward first. Okay, you were here on breaks, and you also work on a computer. I see. I see. Uh, what is that video? Carl Papa lyric video? Oh, no. Okay, I'll check that out after if you want to whisper me that. And we'll play the cutscene, because this will definitely be the last run that we do. So, uh, Destral, I have not played Hollow Knight, no. I've been told that I should play it. I've also been told that there's a permadeath mode on it that deletes the character if you die, or deletes the file of it. And there's RTSR apparently too. 49k echoes, yeah, that's from uh, winning the fight, man. I haven't gone back yet. Lucar, thank you for the host, dude. Also, uh, by the way, the uh, thing you messaged me about, the Game Wisp thing canceled itself, so... Um... I got the email saying that they, they canceled my thing for that. So I'm, I don't think you have to worry about telling other people if they still have it active for you. All right. Nine, what's going on? If you guys don't follow Lucar, he eats bread and apparently looks like Tony Stark and laughs like a soccer mom and also um, stares at people like a, a serial killer as well sometimes. And uh, it's pretty cool and plays a lot of different stuff. One of my favorite streamers, follow him up. He also sometimes sounds like this when he's talking because it's got to be really hype at the start and then kind of boil down to nothing at the end because my name is Lucar and this is my impression of 
It's no hit run right now. I'm gonna kill the doll right now. Hopefully you enjoy my stream. You should go and give him a follow. Um, why would you kill Cereal? Better not say that too loud around uh, Quitty Man. He'll be after you, dude. You better not be killing a Cereal. I'm sure that dude would take some some Cereal killing personally. Uh, Cosmo Apocalypse, what's going on? Is anyone else actively attempting this? Yeah, there's one other streamer that's attempting it right now. Or no, sorry, actually, there's two people. Uh, Faraz has been attempting it. He's got a bunch of one-hit runs. Uh, he started first, and then I started attempting it. Because I was, I was still working on any percent. And then, uh, like, five days later or so, I think I started attempting this. And then Quiddy started attempting it, like, two or three days ago. So there's that. I'm gonna get one fire paper and one of these. And we'll get a pellet. Have I done Kanehurst Castle Chestnut? That comes like really, really late. That's the that's the third last split in the run. So not yet. At the moment, we're going to kill Parl. So we need to be over here. Yeah. Like a serial killer? I am one? I mean, what? <laughs> also, yeah, he's got a crazy uh, emote, emote that's like a coffee with a mustache on it and hearts and stuff above its head. Like, it's like loving something. Probably the run. <laughs> DLC is gonna be Helgoblos on this, yeah. If we if we put DLC into this run, it's gonna be really hard. It's going to be pretty tricky. I'm willing to accept that, though. I think it's gonna be fun to figure that out. Super thick plunges, EST 2K17, sponsored by Yargul. And 18% uh, Blood Gems, Incorporated. Paladin, welcome back. Just got home from work. Welcome back, dude. How's work? Uh, it's been going good. Been going very good, man. Almost got the run again. <laughs> We're on the final one. We're seeing how Carl is doing. Carl. How's it going, Carl? That's a really bad start for Carl. That's rough. It went into like a running attack by accident, but at least you can save it with the second hit. If he actually ends up skedaddling away from you, it's going to be very hard. At least I've, I've fought him so many times on that uh, that one stream we were attempting level 4 new game plus 2. That I kind of, I do know his moveset, but it's been a while, so that's never a good thing if I miss that. You can only whiff the first attack, and then I think you can whiff one in between, and that's it. And we have the gems and a buff, so that's, that, that's helpful as well. Alright, now we gotta do the last split on any percent. And I think we can level to 49. Or no, it's 39, wait. I, I didn't even use these. That's okay, my levels were a lot less than they should have been. I did not consider that. And then we can get the plus 10 as well. Wait, did I do Wet Nurse with a plus 8 last time? Did I get the plus 10? I feel like for some reason the last run I was doing a plus 8 the entire time. Until a certain point, maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. Depends on the order of how I did this stuff, but yeah. Who do you think is the hardest to beat, Cyber? I think the most demanding mechanically and mentally is probably Shadows, but... Um, German and Moon Presence are pretty hard, too. The last three splits of the game are pretty tricky, actually, but I think Shadows is pretty bad. It's to the point where it's like, you don't. I don't even consider this run anything until we get past that. 
8-Bit Wiseman, welcome back. Business has returned. Hath Returnist. Elevationally can't even kill the first boss in this game. You have some serious patience. Well, I, I believe with like enough time you probably could, you know, you could probably do some, some cool shit, man. Like, I have practiced this. We've been we've been streaming this game for over a month now since we started doing no hit runs on it. Or uh, any percent, which is like mandatory stuff. Then we've been doing this run with all bosses for over two and a half weeks now, I think. So, quite a bit of time has gone into it. Uh, nice slay. Thanks for the good luck. Why do I do the butt scratch? I'm trying to eat my pellet, man. Ruining my timings and stuff. That was a cancel right there. Never seen that. That was a super, super strange fight. I don't even start with the cancel, and then we got really good RNG. That's so. That's so weird. She had so many of the spins too. David Tanker has made some moves lately. Happy to see him back in the mix. <laughs> you sound like a. You sound like an announcer for a sport or something like that. David Tanker making some good moves lately. Happy to see him back in the mix. Yes, John, I do agree with you. He seems to be moving up on the leaderboards, and uh, I'd like to see exactly what he has to offer this season. God damn it. Yeah, da David Tanker's going really quickly, man. He went from 16 to 3. Uh, that's ridiculous. That's unheard of, man. That's that's David Tank. That's okay David power right there. I broke wet nerves. I don't know. That that cancel at the beginning could have been dangerous. Because she kind of spun around and the attack was tracking on a different side of her. So, I was kind of worried about that. Alright. We're going to see if we can get through the rest of this stuff very, very, very fast. So, I just got to bang out the item quantities with this. Not think about it too much. Uh, we'll get... Sure, this seems good. Whatever. Seems good. Uh, no lawnmower or dark multi-attack. The lawnmower happens when you get too close to her. It's either on the recovery of a certain move because of lingering too long in a certain place, or when she's trying to do those steps forward. Like when she just keeps moving forward without attacking, I'm at a perfect range where I can't have her do that unless I go right point blank in front of her. Uh, that's when she's trying to do the lawnmower, but I don't let her do it. You can also do it as a recovery, but it's pretty rare. If you're not in a bad spot, you're fine. Those are the two instances of how it happens. But yeah, lawnmower is not really a big deal in terms of getting hit for me. It's more of just like a waste of time, right? 
So if it happens, it just de delays the fight, and then she's more likely to do something this bad. You're gonna have to get all the no-hitters some jerseys, yeah. <laughs> okay, David. Not a fan of David Tanker. You think he's betraying his original fans by making the move to Cleveland? You also think his singing bonus is way too high? <laughs> <laughs> Pre moistened, what's up? I'm going to, I'm gonna keep killing her, man. I'm sorry. How do you cancel Shadow Face, T Biz? Well, in that fight, I got lucky. She just didn't try to do it. Um, you have to iframe the attack at a particular point in the animation. It's kind of like when you see. I look, I look for the visual cue. There's like a little bit of a circle. Uh, there's like purple, and then there's like a circle, a tiny, tiny circle that I look for. When you see that, you gotta lock on, <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> oh my god, I can't talk. <sighs> okay, okay, we're good. You gotta lock on, and then you have to try to uh, dodge twice to the left or right uh, at a decent amount of range so you can see the circle appear above her head, yeah, and then you're fine. And you're all good to go. But, um, you can't do it too early. Uh, most commonly, you will make the mistake of going too early. That's what a lot of people have done, including myself. And uh, if you go too late, it also doesn't work either. And it has to be two dodges. It cannot just be one. For whatever reason. I don't know why. But it has to be two. And they can't be backwards and they cannot be forwards. They have to be to the side. You can also do it with two regular rolls. A dash and a roll. Or you know, any combination of that stuff. So it has some flexibility to it, but um, the one thing that I'm not 100% sure of right now is if you somehow timed it uh, very, very close range, could you still get it? Not being able to see the circle, but just like getting the timing right, or does it not work within a certain vicinity? I think Oldred was saying that it does, that you can still get it. He's the one that suggested it originally. I think he tested that. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right, man. <laughs> I am all right. Okay. I think we have enough pallets for this. Wow, okay, that's good. How did I do it that fast that time? What the hell was the difference there? See, that was so much easier. I don't know if I need to do... Maybe I... Maybe I was too careful before. Maybe I, was, I wasn't spamming as much. That was way, way easier. Okay. For some reason, I didn't have to... She didn't even... I don't know if I broke her arm or not. That was, like, really good damage. Um... Having a beer while watching the run. Cracking cold ones with the boys while watching the runs. Uh, Army, it's going pretty good, man. Hope I can, uh, hope we can get back and get some revenge. That's all I can say. I want some vengeance, man. And yes, I'm seeking vengeance on this run. Okan, welcome back. How's it going, dude? Alright, it's all about that cleric beast. The beast. We're just gonna go with five of these, and then pretty low on pellets, but it doesn't even matter. And I don't think I can level. Oh wait, maybe I can. Yeah, I can level once. Get 45 before cleric. That should be perfect. Cracking a cold blood with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Cracking a cold blood. That's amazing. Elephant, yes we did. Elephant tusk jab, we, we tusk jabbed. We pulled off the good old tusk jab, that's what we did.
Uh, Genesee Koi? Koi? Genesee Koi, what's up? You are something for the controller, it. That is the house set on fire. That's once you beat Wetners. Once you've done the mandatory stuff where you can uh, beat the game, it'll do that. Don't break your heart twice in one night, dude. We're even lucky to just like, get to any percents in one day again, man. So, like, think of how many... This is the, what, the third good run or the fourth good run? Maybe the third good run still? I don't know. We've just had really, really long runs, man. We've had some good runs, so... I'm lucky to even have this opportunity again. We'll, uh, we'll see what we do. See what happens. Like I said, there was, a, there was some pretty good RNG on that last run. Aside from, like, Moon Presence was pretty bad. But I still, I still countered the bad RNG on that. And obviously did not pick the best spot, so... Uh, this time we might see some bad RNG. You never know. I kind of know what to expect if that happens, at least. With, uh... The less preferable situations on fights. Uh, Cyber Chestnut, thank you very much for the good luck. I will see you some other time, maybe soon. Thank you for chilling and take care. Have yourself a good evening. Say ya. Say ya later. Say ya. Is there supposed to be a boss fight here? I forgot. Kick Erman's ass. Dude, he gave me such a good fight on that run. Such a good fight. Uh, Jackson. Well, yeah, you guys make it easier, and it is it is my job. You're right, so. It's different than just if you're dicking around on the run. But yeah, man, I, uh... The consistency is the only reason that I got the willpower right now. Like, that's what it is, man. It's we got consistency, and you don't get consistency unless you push past the memes. That's the only way. Come to realize that's the only way to do it. Okay, we need a lot of the cocktails right now. Just gonna use a shit ton of these uh, these insights. Alright, that's one more. We're gonna see if we can get away with one of the cocktails for the uh, the dude in the woods this time. If I can do that, that's really good. Wish you could uh, get the Cleric Beast in that few of hits. So you can go back to him later, man. You don't have to kill him right away. He is optional. Paladin, has anyone got the run yet? Unfortunately not, dude. Too many German and Moon Presence memes, man. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it is the fate we, we are, uh, doomed to, uh, repeat. And Faraz, apparently, as well. Uh, Scopes went to the bar and came back, still doing the runs. Yeah, this is the last run we're doing, man. I made the, I made the statement if we made it to, um, Shadows two more times and I didn't go anywhere, we'd be done. And then this was the first run back to Shadows after I said that. So we'll so see where it takes us. Two years. It's official. It's, it's been long. Close. Unsubbing now. You could probably just wait for that dude anyways, to be honest. I might be safe just waiting for him. I don't know. Might not have to throw that. Uh, Jess with the 24-month resub. You are number two in the uh, Diamond Hoodie Club. Sorry, not hoodie. Diamond Hood. Not to be confused with hoodie, because that's not what it is. But... Enjoy your emotes. Continue to enjoy your hood of edge, man. It's now the dankest it possibly could be. Everyone give uh, I Love Jess Beal some hype. Give him respect. Give him a follow as well if you want to see some cool content. Does stream. Play some variety. I've known him for a very long time. Of course, you can see this proof before your eyes. Behold the longest sub possible. <laughs> They want the diamond hoodie. It's it's pretty cool actually. I don't I think it looks nice. 
Looks better than I thought it was going to look at, but like, I'm going to get it redone. We're going to get better, better uh, badges. God damn, this is fire. Every I think everyone's hyping it way more than it actually needs to be hyped. <laughs> Whoa, that's the coolest hood ever, man. Whoa, that's fucking sick. How'd you do that? Wow. It's like, oh my God. Is it really that cool? Really? It's like, I'm starting to believe now it's super cool. Like, struggling to stay up for the completion of this run. You're a sleepy baby. Uh, got a TV I dude. You can get to, you can get some sleep if you need to, man. You never know. At this point, we're going to have to have runs like this very often if we're going to get it. So, you're going to see another one that's decent if this isn't it. Blue is my color. Is it? I thought purple was my color. Purple's close to blue. Want a, uh, a peach hood? <laughs> I was thinking of making uh, different colored peaches and putting them for the uh, the sub badge or the the bit badges. Cause Wes gave me the idea for that. I thought it was pretty funny. Might work. So happy with the diamond hoodie. Nice. It's pretty sick, man. I like it. I think it's good. But uh, either way, we'll probably keep the same concept, and then if someone remakes it. I don't know how they're going to make it look particularly better, necessarily, but I'm sure we can get it done if we can remake them and make them better. The coolest dude I've seen in my fucking life, wow. Robin, thank you for the host. I have no idea. It's a very good question. Also, I watched that thing, the, uh, the meme that you sent me, the, the Mario thing, that was hilarious. Why did I not know this? I love them. See ya. Flick of the wrist. Slit of the wrist. Actually, wait. No, it doesn't even make any sense. No. No, because that wasn't a wrist. What was it? Maybe? Maybe? No. Fringe. Diamond edge blanket is sexy. Okay. I think we're getting too hyped right now, but yeah, I think it's better. It's probably the best looking one next to gold. I put a lot of colors in it, but you can't really see because it's like 18 by 18, right? But if you saw the large version before it got uh, scaled down, it has a lot of colors in it. Uh, Bolt struck. I have come to, to learn that fact now that you've told me. Thank you for saving me. From mishaps, you know. Gucci, Versace, Ar Armani hood. Well, we peasants wear JC Edge Justice. JC Pennies and Marshalls. Okay, I combined both of those uh, statements for somehow. <laughs> Yo, why are you hating on Marshalls, man? Marshalls is pretty cool. No amount of hype that does the diamond hood of Edge Justice. Okay. I'll believe you for now, then. Um, be these after. Yeah, that should be good. Need more of these. Then I can't level again, but we're on the move now at least. That's good. Let's go. What I got to really worry about is just not leveling. Like, I have to keep in mind, I can't squeeze. Like, I know exactly what levels I can get right now. Four witches when I am attempting them. I should have 46 going back. Because certain things will die, and I will get enough for the 46. But right now, uh, no point of trying to force it, because I don't have enough of the uh, the echoes yet. And it's not going to make a difference going through this area. Looking forward to the Berserk game. I thought there was already a Berserk game. I don't know anything about a new one. You're a god for not getting hit during this run. Insane, Insomniac. Well, like I said, if it doesn't turn out to be good, you're going to have to see this kind of stuff again, man. So... But one thing that's the most important to me is how consistently you can do it, so that's ultimately the biggest benefit because you kind of need it to go that way if you're going to get this run. I've started to realize um, you'd have to be one a one lucky son of a bitch, much luckier than you'd have to be for any other no-hit run that I've done to get this one 
without knowing some of the things I know from all the failures and stuff, especially with Moon Presence being last man and German being genuinely challenging. Even with good RNG, German still has that challenge to it, so... Like... You can't... You, like, getting lucky is definitely not enough on this. Unless, like, you're, you're really, really, really lucky. Like, you get the best of the best. We get that beast rune. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, I probably could kill this dude without even backstabbing him. I feel bad for him. It's a little bit overkill. Uh, do I watch Berserk Jax? I've watched the original one. The one that was like in the 90s or whatever. Um, like the really, really old one. I watched that earlier in the year. Because I've been told enough times at a certain point that I should check it out. It actually was really good. Very, very, very good. Why not get Abandoned Workshop Lantern? Uh... Because I need to kill that beast still. Oh wait, he'd still be at the bottom, you're right. Dude, that's a really good idea, actually. I should do that. Make a good point with that. I could get that lantern. Well, I mean, it's not a huge risk going back from Cathedral over there anyways, but... I guess it wouldn't hurt. Okay, he drops bullets. I was very curious of how that would work out. Apparently he drops bullets. That's good. Hemwick. Apparently we have four of these marks. I've saved a lot this run. Wow. Did I read the original one, Desire? Uh, no, I didn't read the Berserk. Not uh, like the manga or anything. Does armor particularly matter in this run? Uh, Jenna, it does, yeah, because it boosts my uh, beasthood levels. Uh, it boosts the resistance to poison, and it boosts the resistance to frenzy. So those three things are very important, actually. Um, it's not really like it matters for defense or anything like that, but more of like the extra status effects that you get from it. Or, um, I guess resistances, whatever you want to call it. 
is pretty important. This particular set's very good at that. There might be some that are better. I don't know if they're worth uh, risking it, but... Uh, Swish and Shoot, by the way, thank you very much for the host. Welcome back. Okay, so for some reason, on the last time I did this, the Hunter's Mark had me defaulted to no. Like, I don't remember pressing over to go to no, but it just had me on no by default, and like, right there it said yes. It's crazy, man. Anyways, Swish, uh, what were you playing tonight? Assuming you're just streaming right now, but, uh... Yeah, welcome, Mike Bianchi, welcome back. Berserk Manga is fantastic, haven't read Manga in forever. Yeah, I don't like the whole reading from left to right thing. Or, sorry, uh, right to left, not left to right. <laughs> well, maybe that thing, too, actually. <laughs> yeah, the left to right, or right to left. <laughs> uh, Mike, this one's going pretty good. It's not that bad right now. We'll see what happens. Uh, I gotta go kill Hemwick. And I gotta level, too. I gotta find a way to level quickly. Depends on the amount of echoes you have. What, the, the Hunter's Mark defaults to know if you have a certain amount of Echoes on you? Really? That's super weird, I've never heard of that before. Oh yeah, we can sell the cage, I'm an idiot. That's easy Echoes right there. Got to sell the cage. Uh, almost done with DS3, we ended at Gale. You're sure we'll get him next time. Well, thank you for bringing everybody over here. If anyone from Swish's stream stopped by, we're trying to get a no-hit run. And if you haven't seen Swish's stream, I personally haven't been there yet. I have yet to see her, see her stream, but apparently she's playing some DS3. Follow the stream. Do it. Apparently, was nice enough to bring some, some hype over here, so you might as well return that. Just be, just be a good person, you yeah? know? So that's all it is. And you know, just like donate like five hundred dollars or like sub or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Round two, two of three in this place. Is this Counter-Strike Global Offensive? Yes, it is. 300, you read upside down. Okay. <laughs> Single strand of spaghetti is called a spaghetto. No, it's not. <laughs> there is no way that's a fact. There is no way that's a fact. Into them animes. Unc, I've seen a few of them before, or more than a few. I've seen the good ones, the mainstream ones. Steins Gate, Attack on Titan, um, Death Note. Full Metal Alchemist, watched when I was a kid, you know, stuff like that. The finest of the selections. Okay, they were like lining up beside each other. I don't know if I can get the, uh, the pellet on this one. Maybe. Are you facing this direction? Are you being creepy? Creepy little bitch, man. Doing them rotats, bro. Them rotats. Them rotations. Alright. Getting out of there really quick. I don't even want to know what's going on with that. 
Edgelord 5k, welcome back. You love Steins Gate, Elephant? Yeah, we got a, uh, a moat based off Steins Gate, actually. It's probably one of my favorites, man. It's a pretty good story. The screams, yeah. <laughs> it probably had some, like, uh... Some, like, elderly person lay on the floor, and then, like, a little tiny dude did, like, a cannonball dive off a platform onto their chest. There's, like, I don't know. How else would you make that sound? What do you think they did for that sound effect? So many sounds in this are ridiculous. All right, we don't need elixirs yet. We do need more of these. I'm gonna need elixirs pretty soon, so we're gonna pop all the wisdom except for one. Makes nine. Five of those total. Uh, I need six at least for Kanehurst, actually. Uh, let's. I need one more of these two. There we go. There's the slight possibility we could level again. We'll see. Let's see if that's possible. I get rid of the three. Yeah, I got rid of the shards. Okay, so we're gonna sell all of these then. Why not? Soul of the lost withdrawn from its best. No way. Let's no way Dibs did it. So the world might be Dibbery do did it. So the world no way! Dibs finally dropped that subpipe. Oh god. For the first time in your feeble cursed life, Dibri Duda, you have discovered the secret circle of the Skulliminati. Using the power of dank memes, extremes, and edginess, I grant you your emotes and your hood of edge. Thank you very much for the sub. Everyone give Dibs some subhype. That was, uh. That was definitely not expected. That was completely catching me off guard, man. Wow. Oh, wow. Pretty crazy. Blimey, it really is spaghetto. A single spaghetti is a spaghetto. You're saying that's what it is. All right, I think we're going to get back to this discussion after this part right here. <laughs> or on spaghetto with Jason in the news, S6. Oh, God. All right. Let's uh make sure... These guys don't know that we know what a spaghetto is. I think they know what spaghettos are. God. They've heard about spaghettos. They know the formula. Ah! Oh, there's one that's kind of coming back over here. That's weird. Save the world from knowing what a spaghetto is, one step at a time. Oh yeah, all right. Spaghetto just sounds like some sort of canned spaghetti food. It's all that. It's like alfagettis or whatever, right? That's what that reminds me of. An, Ital an Italian ghetto is a spaghetti. <laughs> Oh man. When is he going to plant the bomb on B site? Oh god. Teriyaki, please say hi to Carol. She's watching from her TV, wishing you good luck on the run. Hello, Carol. Thank you very much for the good luck. I definitely need it right now. I appreciate it. Uh, and welcome back, Teriyaki. Welcome back. Reap, did I not just get hit there? Nope. If I got hit, I would probably be dead. Or you would see my character laying on the floor. Something along the way. And everyone would be freaking out. Hey, 
Shermer, did you know that a single spaghetto is called a spicy meatball? A spicy spaghetti. A single spaghetto is called a spicy meatball. Meatball. Okay. Thank you, Leroy, for the clarification, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Reap. Guys, I saw this. He'll go down a bit during the end of the boss. Health went down a bit? Yeah, because I, I fell off a ledge, dude. It's a gigantic drop. We do not have time to argue about gravity. But, uh, welcome, Reap. You're thinking of the gravity. You'll see my health go down in the run, because there's a lot of things I gotta fall off of that I take fall damage from. Or off to make blood bullets or something. Alright, so we have the fire paper. I'm not gonna grab extra. We'll just go with lightning if we need to. Oh, we have the proper amount of elixirs. That's good. Go. Six and six. And we could probably get 39 on this. Or no, 49. Sorry, it would be 49. Perfect. That's a bit better than last time. No, it's a completely valid statement, man. Like, maybe you thought you saw something or whatever, but I'm just saying, like, it would be the gravity from falling off that ledge. Trust me, if I get hit at this point, I'm going to know. I'm probably going to... Like, my instant reaction upon feeling the vibration of getting hit is just pressing the start button. Uh, right X up X to quit. Like, I'll instantly just react to it by doing a quit out. <laughs> so you would know, man. It's embedded in my DNA at this point. <laughs> It's the first first sign that you could look for on it. Primary to everyone freaking out. That's like a secondary thing, I guess. Everyone freaking out. Oh, why is that lamp getting me stuck? That last run too. Uh, you're gonna go to sleep after this run? Dude, you can go to sleep right now if you want to. You don't have to stay up for this, Unk, but... Man, depending on how many hours you have to sleep, I'd recommend get the best rest you can. Seriously. Spilled your drink. Oh, no. Uh, Ranger, it's going well, dude. It's going well. Not too bad. I think everything is in the in the green zone, in the good zone. Uh, clutch, you have to work in six hours, but you can't miss the end of the run. All right. I can I can feel that. I can understand that. Ots uh, tried it in DS2, the no damage run. Yeah, he uh he got the stupid shit going on on uh he's on Giant Lord. Although I don't think he had a bad hitbox, I think he just didn't expect him to attack when he's on the platform. Because he was doing range attacks on that. I saw the uh, the little video compilation thing that he made for it.
pulled me closer, tiny dancer. <laughs> Got a TBI. Thank you for the bits, man. Also, that's why we killed Blodar, dude, because sometimes he can't actually attack. It's very rare, but he does sometimes. He is super, super annoying because he's gotten me on this ladder before. Uh, TLB, have an awesome sleep, dude. I'll see you later. The more frowny potato man with hands on face. <laughs> uh, algorithms, what's up? Welcome back. Tony Danza, everyone knows. Area freaked you out the first time you got here. This is like a really cool place. The only thing I wish is they had more uh, budget for snow. Like the snow is kind of like painted on. It's not really like it sits on top of the objects well. Scholar had very, or I guess even just vanilla DS2 in the DLC, it had really nice snow actually, so. I think it looks really nice, but I guess they just couldn't, they didn't have the capacity to render like really, really cool snow. Where it leaves like footprints and all that stuff necessarily. Although maybe, maybe it does leave footprints. Like in like the main area, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. Like this snow right here is all right. You know what? Fuck, the snow's alright. The snow's perfectly fine. What am I saying? Who am I to dictate what the snow is and isn't? Realized something very important actually. Get a hunter's mark very quick. Not that hunter's mark. Yep, I I'm so glad I thought of it. Oh my god, we gotta get the runes together. Like not even to mention we don't have the rune that I need for that fight. Thank god. Okay, we got the short oh we didn't get the shortcut. Ah, we can run that area again. We're just gonna have to use more insight. Yeah, sorry about the the clench on that. I I have to get the the rune for it. Like if I tried and I did that right there, that wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have gone well. Would have been bad. Would have been very bad. So good thing I realized. <laughs> At the very end of everything, I might have enough insight. Be good for the insight. I'll probably have to go around again and do a loop just to make sure everything's safe. <laughs> I think we have one elixir left, maybe. Okay, we got good RNG on this. We're gonna have to figure out a plan to get good, uh... Good shit going for the elixirs. What I could do is I could do cathedral again. Oh, I didn't send the lift back down for that. I'm trying to think of like how I could get extra insight. I think it's fine either way, but gotta be careful though. Yeah, I have one left, so you typically only need three, I think. Just maybe. Alright, well, we'll see what we get from beating him and all that. We're gonna have to replace these. Two more. Three total. And we'll see how that goes, I guess. Uh, I think there's one particular area where I don't need to use an elixir a second time. That I could skip. Hmm. You know what? I was gonna say uh, the woods, the woods lamp backwards could give me some uh, some insight. 
Hmm. Is it worth it? You can't buy elixirs, that's the problem, so. I'd have to go through with three, and I didn't get the lift. Not to mention the stuff after that. I can buy more papers if I need to, but after that, like... I need. I literally just need one more insight, that's it. I'm trying to think of, like... How I could do that. Oh, I could use the... I skip the inside in your ghoul. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I picked up one there. Is there one right by the lamp in your ghoul? Is it very close? Because if I had one more, that'd be really nice. I would feel better. I'd feel pretty good about that. Because this is the last area where we need the elixirs. If I only use three on this, I might be risking it. Also, no, I'm definitely not going to the DLC. I killed Isefka, yes. Going, oh, going to the deal. Yeah, but then it, that's controversial though, on this run. Oh yeah, the three near the arcway, I could go run that again. That's very true. Could run that and then uh, Hunter's Mark out of there. And that's pretty safe. You don't need an elixir to do that part. I think we're gonna have to do this. And then, uh, that's from the lift, so that's pretty safe, actually. So I think we're going to do that. It would be from this bonfire, I believe. Well, yeah, that's worth it. All three of those. That's three of them right there sitting there that we lost on this run. That's a really good idea. So it's from the first one. Go back down from the lift, all the normal stuff. Uh, don't even have to trigger the basket, to be honest, uh, but I think I might just be safe, because that's what I normally do. And we don't need anything else. We literally could just Hunter's Mark out of there, that's it. Get hit by Amygdala if you go to the DLC. <laughs> A2 in your opinion, start German and, the Hunter and then Hunter's Mark out. That's a good point, too. Man, coming in here with the solutions, dude. I could just... I, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. That's so much safer. Start German and Hunter's Mark out. Good plan, man. Good plan. Because I can't use that insight in between German and Moon Presence. That's a good idea. That's, that's free right there as well. Dude, thank you so much for that suggestion. Holy shit. That's really, really safe to do, actually. I have one mark left to save me the 10k. All right. We can even play it super sneaky and just shoot him from here. Thank you for that suggestion, dude. <clears throat> okay, now we got the one left, and then it's all about just having a good quantity of the, uh, the pallets and stuff after that. So I really want to do Logirius fast. Two pallets maximum, and then, like... I don't know, after that it's going to get sketchy. We might still have to go back for those other three insights, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that's a better chance, definitely. Sorry about that, once again. At least, did I use one fire paper? I did, so we're going to be using a bolt paper. The second part. Actually, I could use one for the first part. I think we'll do that. And we got to still put the runes on, too. I'm sorry this is becoming a disaster. It's like one tiny thing slips and then the details get all scrambled and stuff. It's just It would be really good if I got the shortcut, so next time I'm going to get the shortcut. Uh, off to bed. Best of luck with the run. Good night, dear chat folks. TVI, I'll see you later, man. Thank you very much for chilling. Sorry about the, the sidetracking. But, uh... It's definitely for a good reason, though. So hopefully you understand. Like, I don't trust myself doing this area quicker. I think I need to do it the same way I did when I came in.
Like, I was thinking there's one elixir right here I might not have to redo. But either way, we have the four now, so we gotta go for it. Wait, no, this one I can actually. What am I doing? I still can make it through that hallway. Okay, now that we have the proper stuff on, we don't have to worry about the lift. Clench mode activated. Don't make the mistake of doing that. Okay, they still appear delayed. That's good. Honestly, should be able to just go right up here. Nice, okay. So I could have just used two, to be honest. I could have, but like I didn't think of it that way, though. I didn't think that'd be safe, but it looked safe, though. I thought they would spawn back in and they'd already be closer. But, uh... Whatever. Whatever's safer. Need at least one pellet for Moon Presence, and I guess... Like, on German, I might actually have to, like... Not use one extra or whatever. I don't know. We might have to purposely go for bad RNG on German and then use two, force it to be two pellets instead of expecting to get RNG. I don't know. Like it's it's hard to tell, man. I'm gonna have to rush it. We'll we'll see how it goes. I think I'll be fine though. Yeah, we use the one, use the bolt paper, and we use this as well. And then there's a slim chance I might not have to rebuff. If everything is amazing, then I might not have to rebuff. Okay, we got three inside out of that. Good for bolt paper. It's a tough call, man. I think I'm just gonna get pellets. That's the rest of our inside, pretty much. Unless I want to go back and get those extra three, like it's a tough call, man. Let's let's really, really hope we can make the best of the pellets on this. Like, really fucking hope. So I can buy an extra buff. The buffs aren't a big deal. I still have the Kin Cold Blood too. I can buy like two extra buffs. If I want to. <clears throat> Alright. I wish, I really wish you could buy pellets, man. So, so badly. So, so, oh, so badly. Press goes to knives, I guess. Backup knives. 
But is it really worth it? Nah, I guess the rest should go to Bone Marrow Ash. Alright, six pallets, seven papers, and a dream. Let's do it. I got the runes on. We're all good. Okay. Let me just double check to make sure. Stamina, Visceral. Transform. Perfect. Let's go. That's it, GG. Get fucking wrecked, Alan. You piece of garbage. You scum on my shoe. You scrub. You scrub. Get fucking wrecked, see ya. Bitch. You fucking maniac. The first run. Lunchables. Holy P.O. Tatu. GG Squilla. Gushers. <laughs> Thank you for the, the bits, dude. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. World's first all boss, no DLC. No hit. Bloodborne. Get fucking wrecked. Oh, man. Oh, God.
revenge, man. The revenge. The revenge kill is so much better than the normal kill, I swear. Holy god. First run of the day, first run. <laughs> so oh man. You went fucking believable, squilg, 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 squilg. Unbelievable. Philosophy, thank you. Dude, thank you so much for the 23 months, man. Thank you. Paladin, thank you for the bits as well. <laughs> Oh man, flesh dude, I feel fucking I feel liberated, dude. I feel like we've we've taken over a nation, man. I feel like I feel like I've I've beat the Miyazaki button again, man. We did it. We beat the fucking button. God. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man. Thank you for the GG's everybody. First run. Now for DLC. Well it's kinda late, so we're gonna go on a raid, but Oh god. I'm gonna turn down that legato a little bit. It's kind of loud. Um, Praise the sun! Already Jesus looking Christ. forward to DLC. Mahogany, thank you very much for the uh, the bits, dude. And for full tard, I'm looking forward to it as well, dude. Me too, man. Let strength be granted. Oh God. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Get pooped on, Alan. Exactly. Oh my god. I actually kind of feel a little bit sick right now, honestly. I feel a little bit dizzy. Probably not even because, just because, man, that was like the final frontier run right there, and we had everything go wrong at the end, too. First run of the day, uh, get pooped on Ellen to dog cree to dog cree to dog cree to dog cree to dog cree. To dog, to dog, uh, Kilo to and Penguin. To dog, cree, 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 to dog, cree. Oh, it's, is that a new Tolo emote? Uh, thank you for the the, uh, the bit, side boob. And Chill Penguin and Kilo guys, welcome. Thank you very much for the brand new subs. Everyone that just dropped the brand new sub, I'm gonna tell some. I'll tell some stories. Let's I'll tell some stories. We're just gonna tell some stories. One story for everybody. So the world might be mended. My God, this is insane. Um, propaganda man, thank you for the eight months. These people with this philosophy and propaganda man sneaking in the resubs, using the resubs for the hype. Oh God. Sub just Holy spam. shit! Will, congrats, man. I got some stuff to say, but I need to. Congrats, I need the alerts to stop you going. Out. Earned this. <laughs> oh god! Oh god, man! So That's so satisfying. Seriously, fuck you, Alan. Vessel. I want to punch something, dude. It's like the DS3 one. I want to squeeze fruit. So I want to watch things mended. explode in my hand. Seriously. So the world might be mended. My god, dude! Didn't take one. Most impressive vessel. thing. It was a blinder. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh god. You guys are like too loving right now, I don't get it. This is for you as well, like this is a lot of it for you. Thank you for keeping me going Have on some this. More money, Jesus you Christ. Whore. <laughs> Every single person that's dropping bits right now, thank you so much. Congratulations. Um, Go to T got a TVI. Thank thank you again. Gushers, thank you again as well. So many alerts. I know it's not stopping. Oh my god. Gushers. So many oh god. It's it's behind by like a year. Okay. Um one second. Been lurking since DS3 speedrun days. Happy to see so many close calls for the past weeks. The subs for your great attitude and some clenchy moments. Thanks, Sniper. Thanks, man. So you started watching when we were doing the SL1 speedruns, I'm assuming. So what Holy did you shit. do different this time? Uh, Mahogany, I just had a better spot, dude. I just didn't pick that same spot as last time. I did a spot that was, I thought was good. It worked. It was good. It was fine. Uh, and had better RNG. Oh, God. Ocean squill. Oh, my God, dude. DJ Ness with the 5,000. Holy shit. <laughs> With the brand new blue sub badge. I guess technically it'd be bits badge. So proud of you, man. Absolutely deserved. Can't wait to see what you do next. Thanks. We're good. We're getting that DLC going tomorrow, dude. And I will try to be again a little bit earlier. But I had to watch Faraz's run before we started. I wanted to make sure he did good. 
Uh, you guys got to give him some Who love too, man. He's putting Ellen? a lot of effort. It's not we easy to do that shit. Did for Peach. It's... Um, who is Ellen? <laughs> Nappy, have a good sleep. Anybody that's got to go to bed, I appreciate you guys watching. If you can stick around just for like the last minute, I just want to say something quickly for all the subs and just to kind of explain uh, how I feel. And then we're going to go on a raid. I'm going to pick someone that we can host. Going to have that, uh, that WR raid going on. Mahogany, Fat Princess is a bitch. I just, I didn't want to jinx the run. Fat Princess is a bitch. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, for the first time in many feeble, cursed lives. Many have congregated around the hunter's dream, seeing acts of greatness, courageousness, and the disembodying, disembowelment, and disassociation with reality of Alan, the alien. For he, ha he no longer walks the fields, for he is crumpled into a mere speck of nothingness, and he has gotten his ass kicked, and thank you for, thank you for being there for that. Enjoy your emotes, your hoods of edge. Every single person that just subbed, that's just fucking crazy. Thank you for all the love, seriously. I don't... You guys should be giving yourself love like that, not just me. Like, that's... Thank you for sticking through these runs, as always. Um, there was times, honestly, like, I can say I didn't get salty, but, like, there was times where it wasn't... It wasn't necessarily the fact of not getting pissed off, but it was hard to reset that run sometimes. Like, it was... Especially today, like I could have just ended earlier, and then we we fucking went back and we did it. GG, and it's not man. easy to do that. So it, happy to see this. I try 